of from Cancer. I'm just doing a quick round of like energies that you're either embodying or that surround you and, and what you can do with them, how you can work with them maybe. I don't know, I'll see what they give us, right? So what's what's the energy for the Cancer Collective, please? What are they embodied? The Ten of Wands. So the, so the majority, the majority of you, right? You are, in, uh, you know, all your emotions and everything, right? All these, all these bloody wands, all these things that you've been carrying, right? All these burdens is, um, is it might be because of being in service to others. You may realise at the moment, a lot of you, yeah, um, that, um, well, yeah, that's what's coming up. You might realise that, um, see if that comes back out again. I wasn't actually asking it anything. So, um, oh, come on, bring it back. Yeah, you might realise that what what you think, what what some contract you've done spiritually, do you know what I mean? You might be realising that it's far, far bigger, you know, than you ever dreamed it would be. And it, it's, um, it's, oh, this is good. This is good for you, right? What, what I'm getting here, right? The, these, these burdens, obviously, you're at a 10 now. The, these burdens is because of being in service to others, right? If it's in service to, to others, right? And remember, remember this, this card specifically says it's your work. So be careful of people coming in and wanting to share and it being out of balance. Do you know what I mean? You have to get it, even in a working relationship, it should be balanced. So, so here you are at, at this, this ten of, you know, realising, it could be just, you know, you, you, it could have been anything, anything in your normal 3D life, you know what I mean, that you've taken on and you might think you've took on too much. But these, these are about to go away. You're going to drop them. You're going to, you won't even care. You won't even care. You will carry, in this story, because all these cards go like this, right? In this story, the 10, um, it, it goes down like that, right? And I think it's the 9 or the 8. The 8, there's no burdens in it at all, right? So, some way, he's going back and forward like this in, in this story. He's been going back and forward with these burdens. Sometimes he has none, sometimes he's got some. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll lay them out in a row one day for you and I, I'll show you exactly the journey that you would go on kind of thing in each particular, you know, ones, blah, blah, blah. So, so back and forward, this is what you do. But the, the, this, it, it's, that's, be, that's why there's going to be movement. Right, because the chariot's here. You, uh, you know what I mean? That's you know. Come on, chop, chop. Get find. You know, you, you get the find. You found your direction. If you're realizing, uh, if you're realizing something is bigger than you thought, right? Then, then you are connected. You are self-aware. You are. You are understanding what's going on in the processes that you're going through. You understand this, and this is why the, a, a lot of yours is the chariot. It's movement. It's saying your stuff. It's leaving all that trouble behind, and it's bringing you the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Keep working, though. You'll get a little. You'll get a little sigh of relief because of the energies that are coming in now you'll get a breather and then it, 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 it'll ramp up again do you know what I mean you'll be, get, you'll be back into another cycle of something okay that's lovely 